Uh, what's crossing you here is the Five of Wands, which once again does indicate conflict and competition. But uh, in this deck, I don't feel that it's competition. I feel like it's more conflict and it, it's mainly... Uh, the ability to see eye to eye with another person. And once again, um, Geminis and, well, Gemini, you're, you're ruled by the planet Mercury and you have like immense mental energy. As a result of it, I feel that you're, you're kind of like functioning. You're very, very highly in tune and you know, it's sort of like you grasp information, facts, truths out of the blue. And the other person is just like, what are you talking about? Because um, they haven't made the connections yet. First of all, they're an earth sign and they, they don't have that the, the mental agility. Not that they're not smart. They're smart in their own very, very different way. Okay, so it's not a contest about who's smart, but it's just how both parties filter out information. So you're getting very intuitive messages and you're making very swift connections, whereas they're more of a logical, systematic sign. So they have to figure out a way how to catch up to your thinking. So whatever you're throwing at them, they're kind of like defenseless because they don't know what you've done to arrive at the information. So they don't know if you're your assessment of a situation is valid so there's definitely a situation where you're not seeing eye to eye and because of it it could have caused a lot of anxiety or there might have been so much conflict with this earth sign possibly that you're starting to realize that okay I don't need to put myself in this situation hence they're in your past position so it could explain you know the fact that they're out of your life because of this conflict that is bringing about, you know, freedom from worries and anxiety. So what's coming in here is we have the Four of Cups, which indicates, once again, that, that sense of feeling, that sense of lack, mainly because possibly because this person is not in your life. Or you feel like, okay, I, I missed the conflict because it shows that they care about me, but now they're not really here in my life anymore. I am missing the conflict, and I feel like I, I might I need it so that it can it can validate the fact that they care about me enough to you know to facilitate or to to engage with me in conversation so there's some type of weird dynamics here in which it's kind of like a love hate relationship you can't live without them but you can't live with them so this there's this really strange inner conflict that you're you're going to have to sift through for this month What's crowning you here is the Four of Coins, and um, interestingly, um, Sagittarius got the same card, and Sagittarius are also dealing with an Earth sign, so this is very interesting. So the Four of, Co of Coins crowning this entire reading here is, um, I'm not going to read this as a finance card or a money card. I'm going to read this as somebody who is so, so fixed in their beliefs, and they're holding so tightly to their belief system, their traditions, their... They're, they're blocking out their heart chakra, so they're not communicating in a, an authentic way. They're not conveying how they feel. So their their feelings are deeply buried, and they have no way to access it, okay? So this might be a situation that you're in, or this is the energy f uh, floating around you in which you're dealing, you're, you, you can be this way, or you are dealing with someone who's very emotionally blocked, okay? They're holding on a little bit too tight to their heart and they're being very self-protective, okay? Um, in terms of what's um, at the foundation of this reading here is the Eight of Coins. And the Eight of Coins, this is now a finance card. And um, the Eight of Coins indicates working very, very diligently, working very hard and being very proud of the money that you're earning from your hard work. And as your foundation in the reverse position, it indicates to me that for a lot of you, there might have been situations where um, you're kind of like sh um, moving from one place of employment to another and your financial situation is destabilized as a result, okay? Because we have eight of pentacles and then four of pentacles, which is basically, you know, half of it. So what that indicates to me is whatever savings you've been you know accumulating there might have been an argument on the work front and it's causing you know anxieties or you might have been let go or you might have left some current work situation and as a result you feel that your financial situation is kind of dwindling additionally there might be a situation in which 
you are involved with an earth sign and you're kind of concerned about the balance, the give and take. And if they're unemployed, they feel, it feels to me like this earth sign might be financially unstable. And as a result of it, you don't want it to affect your own financial standing. All right. So in terms of the advice here, we have the four of wands, which definitely indicates it's in the reverse position, uh, a change in a scenery. Okay. So this can be on the work front. This can be on the home front. And I usually see this as a home front and it's instability within the home front where somebody is potentially moving out. Someone else is moving in. It could be a change of residence. It can be just a move, a move away from one uh, untenable living situation to another. So, in the reverse position, it can also indicate some type of a marriage arrangement, some type of situation going awry, or like um, I'm sensing like a dismantling of a marriage institution. Okay, so this is kind of it's sort of like the breakup card, but this is more of a long term committed relationship. So a lot of you might be experiencing this or a lot of you might be kind of thinking about, I'm seeing, you know, finances are being halved. We're going from four to an eight or an eight to a four. So finances are being halved and people are fighting, but it's pretty much signifies to me the end of fighting with an, possibly a, an earth sign. So I do feel that it could signify, you know, um, a divorce, getting that final say where, you know, the judge ruled over the situation and you find that you have to divide up the assets and you feel like it might not be fair mainly because you're getting only four and the other person could potentially end up with eight so you feel like this situation is not fair and I'm not going to say you know who's right or who's wrong that's just what I'm sensing and we are all entitled to our opinions when it comes to what we deserve in divorce situation divorces are messy there's so much history and pent up, you know, passive aggressiveness and just a lot of, um, just a lot of, um, tension. So, you know, each case is going to be, um, different, but I do feel there's some type of uneasiness here about who's getting the short end of the stick based on this situation. In terms of the external environment, yeah, we have the justice card now, which indicates some type of a ruling, court ruling, possibly to divide up a property, an estate, divorce situations. Um, maybe there are just, um, whatever it is though, I feel, you know, the, the heart of this reading is the nine of swords reverse. So it means that you no longer have to worry. Okay. You no longer have to worry about this. It's pretty much freedom from anxieties, freedom from worry. So this is not going to come back in and haunt you. In terms of your hopes and fears, you have the Ten of Swords. So you're thinking to yourself, maybe this is not over. Maybe this isn't the final final straw yet. And you're kind of in, in, in um, you're kind of working yourself up or stealing yourself um, because in anticipation of this final straw, which is not a good way to live, Gemini. So you, you want to be very careful about this situation. Okay, be very realistic here. So let's just look at the outcome. Okay, so the outcome is the Ace of Cups. Once again, major, major reversal. So you have a lot of negative thinking, a lot of past situation that is coloring the way that you're able to approach your life. And then the outcome, Ace of Cups. You do have the page of coins here. So a lot of you are dealing with an earth sign and we have five of coins reversed. Okay, so a lot of you are dealing with an earth sign. And I'm going to say this. If you've been dealing with an earth sign for quite some time and uh, you don't really know where you stand with them, I do feel this is the month in which an offer is being made to you, possibly for a work situation. But I'm, I'm sensing for a lot of you, well, it might be work. It might be work or it might be a romantic relationship partner. And I do feel for a lot of you, it might be a um, an offer of love because we do have the Ace of Cups here. And we also have the end to, you know, that um, spiritual bankruptcy. So if you've been feeling unloved, cast out, unappreciated, and just, you know, unwelcomed, I do feel that whatever it was, it was mental energy. It was, you know, negative thinking uh, swirling around in your head. As a result of it, you can't really see outside of your situation, okay? What I'm also sensing is that, um, once again, 
both of these are are women. So for women Geminis out there, I do feel that if you've been, you know, I know Geminis have been through a lot this year. Geminis and um well, Scorpios too. Geminis, you've been through a lot and I feel like you're very very emotionally closed off and you're in, you know, self-protective mode. You're you're kind of like ruminating and you're you're doing so much to control your feelings, to control to control situations, okay? This is a card of control. And it hasn't really served you well. So I feel that if you want the love in your life, you're going to have to take that extra step in order to allow it to come into your life. And I know that sounds like generic advice, but you can't find love if you're sitting at home counting your pennies. You can't find love if you're just like constantly closing yourself off and, you know, living like a hermit. Um, so even though you have this beautiful, beautiful facade about you, you know, your hair is all done, makeup is all done, and, you know, you're ready to go out on the town and meet Mr. Right. I feel like by the end of the night, you're just like, oh, what's the point? So you just end up staying home when you're dressed so beautifully and you're, you know, everything is like lined up for you one by one, but you don't leave, physically leave the house, okay? So a lot of you might be in a very jaded, in a very disillusioned type of uh, situation when it comes to your love situation or when it comes to finances, where you feel like, I think I'm happy with the way my life is. I don't want any more complications. So I'm not going to put myself out there and I know what is out there and that's not what I'm looking for. So a lot of you might be feeling a little bit jaded and as a result, you're not doing this, okay? The advice here is that, you know, once again, I do feel that with the Ace of Cups, it indicates to me that there is love waiting for you. And I feel like a lot of you, this might be romantic love coming in from an earth sign, an offer of love, a gesture of love, or even something that is um, being offered up to you. And the thing about this is, in this deck, the Ace of Cups, it actually rarely comes out. And on top of it, there is a key. So this is a um, a major turning point. This is a major milestone because I feel like all this negative energy, all this negative thinking and all of this, you know, being feeling very stuck, con you know, conflict potentially in the past, but also feeling very stuck. All of it is have is um, is turning around this month for the next two weeks, at least it is turning around. So. Let me just say, if you are in a relationship with somebody who has legal entanglements with another person, or if you are, yourself are married and um, you're involved with someone, and or if you're separated, for example, and you're involved with someone and you're just like, when is the divorce going to happen? I feel that the divorce is going to happen. It's going to happen for this month. Or if you're dealing with someone and you're just like, oh my gosh, they've been separated forever and they keep kept telling me that they're going to get divorced. Well, the divorce is actually going to happen because we have the justice card circulating around you. So there is some type of court uh, situation that is going to come to an end in, well, it, it's going to come to an end. And I do feel because of it, if it's a relationship that is contingent upon, you know, whether or not this divorce is going to finalize, I do feel that it is going to, um, the divorce is going to finalize. And then you can proceed with this person and, you know, to build a future relationship for yourself. But either way, I do feel there is new love for you. But a lot of you have been staying at home and a lot of you have been kind of like um, just stuck in mental energy, okay? Either overworking, being very, very, keeping yourself very busy facing a lot of opposition at work or, you know, feeling like so depleted, like emotionally drained that you, you just kind of, um, keep your head down, go to work and then you go home is what I'm sensing. Or you could just like, um, you have very, very little time to yourself or most of your time is just spent at home, not in the company of others because you're, spiritually drained okay so the end of this month we see a new love situation coming through for you so you really have to break out of your shell and, and break out of this rut in order to experience this love because it comes it brings with it a key and the key is basically um when the key shows up it indicates to me major turning points it indicates to me 
like that um you know it's sort of like that expression the key to your heart your heart has been closed off for quite some time and i feel like for a lot of you uh challenges were coming through in march 2015 and also like once again i feel like it might have been july so march july were pretty rough months and you're closing yourself off you're you're feeling very depleted and um life was like very dwa uh, dra very gray Light life was just very gray and now this new love comes in and you're seeing life in technicolor again you know like high definition technicolor so the the point here is this new love is coming through and you have to, it's going to come through but you, you really have to leave the house. You really have to go out and live your life because I feel that you're a lot of you are getting dressed up and then at the very last minute you're just like, no, I'm not going to, going to do it. And I do sense as well that um, it is coming through for, from an earth sign and it's going to be very good for you to take up this love offer or even this job offer if it's coming through because you're going to be quite happy. So don't cycle through worst case scenario because we have in your hopes and fears is the Ten of Swords which is, you know, your fear, getting betrayed again, getting disappointed again, feeling like you put so much work in and you're getting, you're, you end up like empty handed. You're not going to be empty handed this time. There, you have something to prove for it. And the other person is starting to realize that, you know, you're quite a catch. So get yourself out there. Okay. Whatever it is that you've been thinking about, I feel like you, your, your heart is closed and you feel depleted. And then the cycle continues throughout and the the one way to break away from this is with some type of communication some type of discussion it can lead to a heated discussion but something needs to be said so that the other person knows where they stand with you so that you can at least you know set your put your foot down and decide for yourself what it is that you want to do if you want to continue like ruminating or do you want to go out and live your life but i do feel love relationship love offers coming through by the end of this month for you all right um for those of you who have recently gotten out of a divorce situation i do sense everything is going to finalize itself okay i'm going to pull out another card here we do have five of cups in the reverse position so whatever regrets and and, and um sadness that you're feeling from your past experiences it's pretty much the end because we have five of coins reverse, five of cups reverse, five of wands. So all of these five energies indicate to me a turning point. Things are turning around for the better. So get yourself out of the house, okay, so Geminis? I do wish you the best and um, have a very happy Thanksgiving. Get yourself out there and get yourself where you need to, you can be seen. Because I love this card. Whenever you I see her, she's very, very beautiful. So grace other people with your presence. I feel that you need to get yourself out there just for that reason, okay?